And also this morning, it was a packed house at the funeral for Brian Frazier. People coming from all over to remember the Michigan State sophomore. 7 Action News reporter Faraz Javid was at today's service. Hundreds of people showed up today to honor the life of Brian Anthony Frazier as his funeral mass took place at St. Paul on the Lake Catholic Church. I've not seen it this packed perhaps ever. Father Tom Slowenski says the turnout was unprecedented. Footage from inside the church shows many folks standing in addition to the 550 seated. Father James Bilo conducted the homily as loved ones paid respect to a beloved MSU student killed Monday night in a mass shooting on campus. There's many aspects that we can talk about Brian. He's one of those charismatic, smiling, humorous, good natured young man that is hard to not like. The 20 year old was a sophomore at Michigan State and president of his fraternity Phi Delta Theta. He grew up in Gross Point Park and graduated from Gross Point South High School. Father Tom tells me Brian was a good Catholic boy. That smile just was so contagious. It just, I think, lifted everyone's spirit. He was that light that, that shone in so many people's lives. A life lost is tragic to begin with, but someone so young and someone who had such a big impact within the community. Yeah, it, it, it's just... It's just tragic for so many reasons. Brian was a leader in academics and sports. He played hockey, basketball, and even golf with his dad. Over six feet tall, Brian was also a head lifeguard at Country Club Detroit, where he mentored several aspiring lifeguards and swimmers. What's more, Brian was also an organ donor. Brian, thank you. Thank you for all that you have given to us through your short life, but it is packed with love, and goodness and serenity. Our hearts are not going to be afraid, Brian, because you wouldn't want us to be afraid. If you knew him, think of how he touched your life. If you didn't know him, take what you've seen here by way of care and compassion, sympathy, but above all empathy, and be an extension of that. And give this terrible event meaning and, and resolve. Reporting from Gross Point Farms, I'm Faraz Javid, 7 Action News.